Tristan, I'm back. 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. on a damn Monday. People say there's a stigma with Mondays. Oh, I hate Mondays. X, Y, Z. All right. If you treat every single day the same, there's really no Mondays. If you work every day, there's no Mondays. You just hate every day. So just work every day and then you won't have to, you won't hate anything because you hate every day. And then that becomes the new baseline. Just a thought for those people out there who hate Mondays. Anyways, day 70 or is it 71? I think it's day 71 of fucking getting shredded. Um, yeah, I just took off my nose shirt. I'm ready to get it. My back is extremely sore from yesterday's lift, so I'm not even actually sure what I'm going to do because I'm doing a new split. I'll have to look and kind of do my judgment to figure out what I'm going to do. But it's a nice day. I hope it's going to be a nice day. Actually, it's supposed to be cloudy, but make the most of it. I'm going to weigh myself real quick and then read for a bit is my plan. And then I'll go work out. I'll go to the gym. So 185.1 is what I'm weighing. I'm staying consistent around that weight, which I'm happy with, but I'm also leaning out. So I ain't got nothing else to say. My brain is fucking everywhere right now. Um, so I'll catch you guys after I drink my beer.
Yeah, I just I absolutely hate him. I don't really train him, but I honestly didn't know what to do today. I kind of am gonna make it a cardio and calves day. And just maybe go do some cardio later today. I haven't done any hit cardio, but I think I might just go do some cardio later. I walked on the treadmill for about 15, 16 minutes. Um, now I'm just doing calves. I think I'm gonna do forearms and calves and cardio, and I'll just call it, uh, trying to get it quickly banged out. Because I gotta get to work. It's not nearly as nice of a day out today, but it's not bad, can't complain. The grass is greener than it was, because there's no fucking snow on the ground, so it's better than nothing. See, screw that. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around and then probably just do forearms. Now, get this shit done with. Just counting that as warm up. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do fully for forms, but I'll figure it out right now.
是。That's enough for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna flex. I'm just gonna get right in the shower and then get to work. I'll show my meal next, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna have either. Probably something with meat. Let's go. Day's going well. I got so this salmon was frozen. I got it from this place called the Butcher Block. It's like an actual butcher. I also got some steaks and stuff. First steak was good as fuck, as it should be, because it was a $28 steak, or like $24, I'm not exactly sure. But the salmon was only 12 bucks. Um, it was $12.99 a pound. So I got about a pound. Um, so we'll see how good it is. It was pre-smoked and it's like, I'm not exactly sure how they do it, and I'm not exactly sure if I even need to cook it or it's just heated up um, because it's already cooked. Let me know how the salmon, like our pre-smoked salmon, would already be. Like I, I'm obviously have to like heat it up, but I'm not sure if it's already cooked. So it looks already cooked, so to me. Um, but I'm just gonna recook it in the in the skillet. So. It, uh, you know, just fully cooks, just in case. Because, you know what happened last time I ate a uncooked salmon? It was not good. Um, throwback. But I'm also going to eat this banana, and then I might have like a couple eggs and then a pound of ground beef. I'm not exactly sure if I want to have Those chicken breasts, maybe? Or I got a lot of eggs and I do have three more pounds of ground beef. So I think I might just throw a pound of ground beef in, maybe like six eggs, and then an avocado. Avocado, maybe some tomatoes. That sounds good to me. Additional to the salmon. So I'm excited. Maybe I should have filmed like an actual taste test because I did just have a bite. But the lobster are, it is definitely different than the salmon I normally cook. Um, the salmon I normally cook is just, just normal salmon. I season it. There's like brown sugar. Um, brown sugar salmon, I'm not exactly sure. It's got like a sweet, but smoky taste obviously it's it's smoked so it does have a smoky taste it's not as uh it's super like moist but a lot more mushy and you can taste that it's frozen which is fine but i'm not wrong it's a frozen set i wouldn't i wouldn't spend 12 dollars on this again I can get a whole like slab of salmon, like two, uh, two pounds for like 20 bucks and it's way more worth it. Um, and it's fresher. This is fine. Like it's probably honestly better cause it's pro I think this is wild caught. If it's not wild caught, then I don't know what the fuck I paid for it. But if they're in like a fish pool, um, bread, I mean, it's less good for you, but I think it doesn't really matter that fucking much. Like, as long as you look at it and the meat looks fresh. Um, but then, 
pretty good. Salmon's good. I love salmon. Eggs, ground beef, avocado, maybe some tomatoes. I gotta wash this pan out, let it let it cool for a minute. And then meal two in one meal. Funny. I might get some milk and then sit down, watch a video or something like that. Do some learning. I like to take a good break, I swear. Um it's funny, I watched a video yesterday and I started doing these like nicotine patches. I had them before, but basically what nicotine does is it just gives you a little bit of a buzz, but it puts you in a in this like flow state. So that you're thinking, I get so much fucking work done. It's insane. Rather than what I used to be where I'd like get distracted. It's literally Adderall is what it feels like. And you can focus so easy. Um, only thing is it's, it's obviously nicotine is addictive. Um, I'm going to use it in moderation. It's just a patch. So it's like a fucking, if I'm only using patches, um, Zins, I don't know, like Lucy, whatever the fuck they're called. Shit they put in your mouth. Maybe I'll try them. I don't know. I don't want to get addicted to those things because I know a lot of people that are addicted to them. So I'm not trying to get addicted to that. If it's like a patch, it's like. You're addicted to a patch. All right, I can't be addicted to a patch. Um, it's just mainly for mental focus. Dial me the fuck in, and it works. <laughs> I'm not recommending it. Don't try it. Um, you can buy them on, on Amazon. And you don't have to be 18. They don't ID or ship. At least a couple years ago when I got them, they were. I I'd had them for a while, but yeah, they fucking work. Is what I'm saying. Like. Nicotine is, it's not even a bad drug in, in, uh, it's addictive, but it's not even a bad health, negative health drug anyways. Um, people get cancer from the, like the tobacco, like the tar. This is just the nicotine. Like that's literally all it is, is literally just nicotine. So yes, it, that's the addictive substance, but it's also, I think it's a nootropic, so it opens up your brain to thinking faster, being more focused. It's, I mean, if you haven't taken nootropics, which I really like nootropics, I don't have a ton of them. I have this thing called Alpha Brain. If you guys know what that is, it's basically just nootropics. Um, nootropics are basically the, to explain, nootropics are the building blocks, the basic foundation of neural pathways in your brain. So it's what your brain is consisted of. Um, so brain food, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna get to eating because then I'm gonna get back to work. I just slap it on, fucking dial in and then make money. That's it. But I don't think it's worth it if you're doing if you're not doing like something that takes a good amount of focus and brain power. And I'm also taking it off if I'm not doing work. So it also has like a good kind of effect where I could be addicted to working. Like, cause your addiction isn't to like, people could, you get dopamine when you smoke a cigarette, right? Cause there's nicotine in it, but you also get dopamine from the nicotine. But there's also the same thing goes when maybe there's no nicotine in the cigarette and you could smoke the cigarette and still get the dopamine. So it feels like you're like getting the nicotine and smoking the cigarette, but it's the fact of you smoking the cigarette, not the actual nicotine, because there's no nicotine in the cigarette. So the same thing with working. If every time I slap a nicotine patch on, you get addicted to working. It's like a double fucking win. Let me know if that's, uh, that's bro science. All right, man. How you get big? <clears throat> you gotta eat this. I really don't think I can eat this. Well, I know I can eat it. I'm just saying I really don't want to. Like I'm not hungry for it. I'm pretty full actually right now, just from eating the salmon. But how the fuck am I supposed to get huge and shredded? If you can't eat a pound of ground beef and 
six eggs or whatever, how many eggs this is, and a whole salmon. Come on. I don't think this avocado is fully ripe, but it'll have to do. The way I do it is I just slice down, slice it up into small pieces in the avocado, and then I'm going to show you what I do next. But <clears throat> I think this is the best way to cut an avocado up versus, I don't know, I've seen people use a spoon, but I don't, I don't know. It doesn't break it up as nice when you go like this. See, like that's perfect. And shit, this is the spot. Let me know if I should make this into a cooking channel. I got a couple good ass recipes. Cook the same shit all the time, but if you keep it simple, you can really never, <clears throat> never go wrong. This and uh, I guess a steak is super easy to cook. Same with chicken. Really everything I do is super easy to cook. I don't really have anything that's like hard to cook. I have a... When I cook... One second. Chicken tikka masala. That is a... That's a good one. Chicken tikka masala. But <clears throat> I'm going trying to go no carbs. This is whole carbs. I would say avocados. Oh, it's good. They're whole carbs, complete carbs. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm not exactly sure what I want to do next, but probably get back to work. Get you. Alright. Late night salad. Balsamic vinegar. I'm not dousing it. I'm just having a little bit. It's 724, so I'm gonna go on a walk real quick. I feel like I'm riding. I'm gonna hop, hop, hop down the street. I'll get my steps in for probably 45 minutes. Do a loop. Come back. Sleep. Actually, I'm going to clean up this place before I go to bed, but I'm going to sleep pretty good, I think. I'm really tight and sore. Not a bad day. Kind of a shit workout. I'm gonna have to do legs tomorrow, is what I'm thinking. But I think I'll just push through it. I gotta do some stretching tonight because my I'm, I'm so tight. Everything. Catch you day 72. This is day 71.